Welcome back to Webwise. In this video, we will talk about 100 VH issue in Safari. By the end of the video, you will learn how to make blocks that will always take up 100% of the window height, regardless of the browser. First, let's see why and in what cases this problem appears. Let's create two blocks with a height of 100 VH and see how they are displayed in browsers on different devices. Highlight them with color and move the full height class code to a separate style.css file. As you can see, in a browser with a fixed height of the address bar, everything is displayed well. Now, let's see how it will look in the Safari mobile browser. You can see how the block goes beyond the address bar and takes on the value of a larger viewport. At WWDC 22, Apple presented new units, such as SVH, LVH, DVH and others. In this video, we will be using SVH. In order for the block to display correctly, we need to add the line height 100 SVH below the line height 100 VH. Thus, browsers that support these units will use the second line and those that don't will use the first. We can see that now everything is displayed properly in both Safari and Chrome. If you are having this problem when creating a burger menu for mobile devices, I would recommend that during menu and implement, limit the height of the HTML tag to the maximum height in the way we cover. This method is used by Apple itself on its official website. I can advise it as the best for this problem. In this video, we learn how to display blocks in the full height of the viewport on all browsers and how to deal with the dynamic address bar problem in burger menus. Thank you for watching. If this information turned out to be useful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe to be aware of new videos.